What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of After Effects, and this is the new CC version, which is the Creative Cloud. And what we're going to be doing here is that we're just going to show a quick example of how to use Cinema 4D inside of After Effects. There's two ways to get to it, so let's go to the first one. Right, I went to choose File, New, choose Maximum Cinema 4D File. Once you do that, just create your new file. And then it's going to open up this new file right here. And as you can see, it automatically opens up your uh, Cinema 4D. Now, with Cinema 4D right here, uh, let's go ahead and drop this down to a new composition. And we've got nothing but a plain field here. So we come down, open up Cinema 4D. Let's say that we want to add a uh, rectangle or a square, sorry. And then we come, try that again. Well, model. I don't want to do it. Okay, let's open this thing all the way up. Try this again. And it does not want us to do it. So, create object. Let's create a cube. There we go. Okay, we got our cube here now. Okay, now once you add a cube here and you choose to save it. You come over here and it automatically updates it inside of After Effects. So whatever you do within your Cinema 4D here, it will automatically update it here. So let's say that we was to come over here and we was to create a, uh, let's add in a cone. And then we've got a cone sitting right here. We come over here, click, and, whoops, you had to save it first. Save it. And then... There you go, you got the cone. So you always remember to save. Control S, Command S on a Mac, save your work. Okay, the second way to access uh, Cinema 4D is to uh, have an object to bring in. So we've got a house right here, which is our uh, house 5. Let's drag that in here. We come down and drag that into a new comp. Now once it breaks it into a new comp, we come down here and we select the house inside of our timeline. Come over here to edit, go down to edit original, and then it will open it up inside of our uh, Cinema 4D so that we can edit it within Cinema 4D. So remember, whatever you do here, you add lights, do whatever you want to do, always remember to save. If you do not save, then it will not update it here within After Effects. Now, I'm not a big Cinema 4D fan. I usually use uh, uh, 3D Studio Max, so it's a big learning curve for me. This is just what I know so far of using the program. So, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net and inside of After Effects CC. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.